Good morning, Vineyard. Good morning. I have a quick video. Uh, it's October 30th, and I'm uh, closing out the month here in my in my brain, and I wanted to just share with you for about three minutes about a few things happening at the church. And um, so I hope uh, this finds you well. Appreciate you watching. Um, first, I want to talk about Halloween. Had a few people ask me, um, hey, Jeff, as a pastor, what do you think? Do you let your kids dress up? Do you bar the doors? And um, my answer is uh, very simple. I take my kids out for Halloween. I always have. And uh, my reasoning is that uh, there is one day in the year when I can go to every or most of my neighbor's door and knock and be received with a smile and have a conversation. And um, that day is tomorrow. And so what perhaps, depending on what you believe, Satan has taken and used for evil, and there very much is a lot of celebration of evil happening on the Halloween, in the Halloween season, um, but we are called to storm the gates of hell, and they will not stand against us. So whether or not you mention Jesus, you are a light shining uh, in your neighborhood. And just your presence and smile, because you are filled with the Holy Spirit, brings hope and joy and peace to people, whether or not they know it. And so that's my prayer as I go out. I've had some of the greatest conversations with people um, over an exchange at Halloween. And uh, same with my house. I'm opening my house. They are coming to a house that's filled with the peace and the kingdom of God and um, the spirit of Jesus as I hand them a Snickers bar and smile and say something like, hey, God bless you, happy Halloween. Um, so I, that's my thought on it, um, and I think it's a great time to meet people and shine your light. And I've, I've prayed for so many of my neighbors in the last 22 years that I've owned houses. Um, it's crazy. Um, and seeing God show up powerfully um, on them. And so this is part of that uh, is, is I see it. This is going to be longer than three minutes um, because I just preached a little mini sermon. But let me talk about two other things. Uh, so that's that. The other is just the next month or two at the church. Um, just to give you a very quick overview of some things happening. We have a manly camping trip, hopefully uh, coming this weekend that won't be rained out. We're dedicating uh, 12 or 13 babies on Sunday, and that's going to be wonderful. I always love those moments. And then uh, in the next month or two, we have some great outreaches. We're continuing or starting uh, including our, our rescue mission outreach, our dry goods pantry outreach. Uh, we're beginning an outreach to the Hope House in December for drug addicted women. Um, and then we have several new support groups for blended families, for uh, victims of sexual exploitation, and a host of other things happening. And so a lot of stuff is going on uh, in the next few months uh, in regards to that. And um, in, uh, on November 18th, we are uh, receiving a compassion offering, and you and I have the chance to give towards uh, these kinds of ministries. We uh, take up a special offering that's beyond the normal tithes, and it goes to support all these things and more uh, missions, uh, foreign missions, church planting, and many other things, people in our church who, who need help. And so... Um, so I would just encourage you to get involved in these outreaches, events, and also to pray and give generously at our, at our compassion offering in a few weeks, and you're giving to a good cause. And, uh, and then speaking of, uh, of offering, I um, just want to encourage you in your regular monthly tithes as well. Um, we uh, are in a place right now where the church is doing, doing fine. Um, however, we have had a lot of people leave in the last six months, and that does have an effect on giving, and so as new people come into the church, it's it's uh, important and very helpful if they uh, you know take up where others have left off, and uh, join in and give their tithe faithfully, and um, bless the church and bless the Lord, and ultimately you're blessing yourself in that way by being faithful. So I encourage you in that. Um, if you if you are, thank you. If if you're not, um, consider what the Lord would would spur you to do and become a person that um, that, that gives joyfully and that gives uh, generously, and uh, you'll experience Jesus as you do that. So I, uh, I just bless you guys. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, today's a cool day. I'm about to go out and take a jog, and um, I feel alive when the air is cool and crisp, and um, it's, uh, it's a wonderful time of year, and um, great to be in church with you. As always, I always feel privileged to, to do this job. 
and uh, it's an honor to serve as your pastor. So thank you. Pray for me. I'm praying for you, and uh, may the Lord's peace uh, fill you and bless you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bye. See you soon.